You've known the Coleridge lady a long time, right, Jack? Yeah, you might say that. Off the record, I... Off the I... record? Come on, Finelli, give us something. Are you are planning to interview me for your story, just forget it. But I'll tell you this. Jill Coleridge is an extraordinary woman, and she deserves a lot better treatment from us than she's received so far. I'll tell you what, she takes a great picture. Hey, 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 here she comes. Oh, oh. Miss Coleridge, can, can we get a couple of questions? Why did you do it? Did he ask you to kill him, or couldn't you bear Please. seeing him in pain? Jack, I'm glad you're here. Thank you. You okay? More or less, I'm, I'm all right. Uh, do you expect to be released on bail? What kind of stupid question is that? Of course she expects to be released on bail. Is this your lawyer? I'll be representing myself. This is my brother. Name? Roger Coleridge. And you're, uh... Detective Second Class Paul Conroy, and that's all you get, boys. Now, excuse me. Now, what happened, Miss Coleridge? What made you kill him? I'm sorry. Look this I way, please. Comments. Please, if you just... Just let us through. One more, please. One you heard the lady. One more. Jack, will I see you later? Yeah, I'll find you. Hey, Jack, did she say see you later? Yeah, that's right. She's a friend. Lay off, huh? Oh, gotcha. Sorry. Let's get some seats. We'll get the rest of the pictures when she's on her way out. If they give her bail, right? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you stick to taking pictures and lay off the jokes, huh? Lady may be in trouble. It's a little early for you to dance in her grave. Discover all my children on SoapNet. Tad Martin, he's romantic. All I want to do is to make you and that baby happy for the rest of my life. I'm begging you, Lucy Cooney, would you please be my wife? Yes! <laughs> if you thought Tad was romantic then... Where do you see me in 2010? I knew you were here. This is just a dream. Just stay a little while longer. I'll see you again in the stars. I don't want to have to wish for you. I just want you. All my children, weekdays on ABC, weeknights at 8 on SoapNet. If it's a political scandal, the truth is gonna come out! A reality showdown. I'm a little touchy on that topic. Or Tiger's wild ride. The story gets more interesting. You can bet it'll end up at the table of the view. You gotta go for it! Whether it's pop culture, politics, entertainment, or hot topics. What about a little common sense? It's not over till the co-hosts have their say. If he were here, this is what I would do. Join the conversation. The View, weekdays only on ABC. You know, I'm really glad we finally decided to see where Raisin Bran Crunch is made. Yeah, this trip is way overdue. I just can't wait to see all those crunchy flakes in action. I hope I get a chance to put two scoops of raisins in some boxes. You know what'll really get us in the spirit? 99 boxes of Raisin Bran Crunch. If you're nice to me, I'll share some with you. You take one down. We'll pass it around. 98 boxes of Raisin Bran Crunch. Three tasty ingredients, one great combination. Raisin Bran Crunch. From Kellogg. Here's important health news if you're over 50. If there was a serious disease affecting over 8 million Americans, we'd all know about it, right? Now a dramatic survey finds three out of four people have never heard of peripheral artery disease, PAD, also known as poor circulation in the legs, or how it doubles your risk of a heart attack or stroke. And that's got people talking. Dr. Jones. If you're over 50 with diabetes or risk for heart disease or pain or heaviness in your legs, you're at risk for PAD. Find out if you're at risk for PAD with this free information kit. You'll see how poor circulation in your legs is likely to be in your heart and brain as well. That's why PAD more than doubles your risk for heart attack and stroke. Call 1-888-275-5091 for more about PAD. Get this free kit today. Find out what the risk factors for PAD really are. Get a seven-point checklist that helps you understand what could be putting you at risk. Find out about a simple test medical guidelines recommend for PAD, whether you have symptoms or not. And learn what lifestyle changes and treatment options can help reduce the risk for heart attack and stroke. There's even a discussion guide to take to your doctor and a free report on the PAD Coalition survey. So call, because the more people are talking about this serious disease, the better. Call 1-888-275-5091 now.
Johnny, who do you think I should vote for next week? Oh, have a heart, Dee. Whoever I tell you, you're going to give me an argument. That's just what Frank used to say. <laughs> Here he is. Hey, Frank. Hi, Hi. we were just talking about you. <laughs> Isn't it exciting? The political campaign, I mean? Well, not exactly the way it used to be. Frank's not running for office this year, Dee. Remember? I know that, Faith. What do you think I am? Who is that? Tempting. Why don't I make you a sandwich? You can tell me all about your first day on the job. Come on. All right. Um, Johnny, yeah. have you heard from Roger? What, was I supposed to? Well, they'll be bringing Jill back to New York sometime today. He said he'd call if he had a chance. Sorry, sweetheart, I hadn't heard. What? <laughs> we alone? At last. It has been two hours since I've seen you, and that is too long. <laughs> That's nice. Last night was nice. Are you all right? What do you mean about Jill? Yeah. She, uh, she must have been irrational to have done what she did. But then again, she's been off center for a while, so. Yeah, she has. There's nothing I can do, Faith. It's out of my hands. I wasn't asking about Jill before. I was asking about us and last night. Oh. Well, then, the answer to that is happy and good, really good. Me, too. Oh, oh. <clears throat> I thought you two were having lunch. Yeah, say, uh, it must be something to eat around here. Dee, would you mind? We're right in the middle of a private conversation. Well, pardon me. Why don't you put a sign on the door to tell people I'm not a mind reader, you know? Yeah. But you know now. <laughs> well, take your time. Don't worry about me being hungry. Oh, I'm going to worry lots, Dee. Some people are so thoughtless. Hi, little John. I made a mask. Hey, oh, ah. that's scary. Oh, boy. Look at that. Yeah. Why don't you go in and show it to your daddy? He's in the kitchen. OK. <laughs> oh, little John. Yeah? That's another Ken George Jones notebook. Where'd that come from? You know, I got lost. Oh, well, uh, turn it around so your daddy can't see it. it. Mr. Jones is not his favorite singer anymore. Okay. Can I go show daddy my mask Yes, now? yes, yes. I was just worried you might have second thoughts mm -hmm. or regrets. No. None. Hey, Jono. Hi. What do you have I there? I made a mask. You made a mask? Now, that is the most sensational Halloween mask I have ever seen. I think it's really neat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna ask Granda to try it on. Yeah, why don't you? Go on. <laughs> but John, you're only in there two seconds. You try it. Me? Well, it's been a couple of years since I went trick or treating, but uh, I think it was with Siobhan the last time. Alas, you swamp! <laughs> <laughs> it's gone. You yes, like it that, is. <laughs> Why don't you go scare Frank? Should we scare Daddy? Oh, come on, Dee. They're trying to have a little talk. Leave him be. Johnny, that's not very nice. After everything I've done for you to be suspicious of me like that. I just wonder if they uh, have any news about Jill. That's good. Really does. Maybe we should go over to the house. No, no, we're staying right here, and I am going to make you an Aunt Ruthie special sandwich. <laughs> I can't wait. Hey, I, I just keep saying, Jillian. Though I'm away from Jillian, hear me, Jillian. The people against Jillian Coleridge. I will now read the indictment. Uh, Miss Coleridge. Yes, Your Honor. Have you received a copy of the indictment? I have, Your Honor. Will you waive, or do you want the clerk to read it aloud to you? I'll waive the reading of the indictment, Judge. Thank you. May I address the court, Your Honor? Proceed. At approximately 10 a.m. on Monday, October the 6th of this year, Ken George Jones was found dead in his bed at Riverside Hospital. Your Honor has probably read news accounts of the event. 
cause of death was determined to have been an overdose of heroin. Gillian Coleridge was found beside the deceased holding a hypodermic needle. Analysis reveals the contents of the needle to be heroin. Later, when she was sought for questioning by the police, it was found that she had left the city. Your Honor, may I have a word? Your Honor, I was hoping to complete my statement. I was upset by the death of Mr. Jones and I needed to get away. I was not interested in reading newspapers or listening to radios. And therefore, I had no idea that I was being sought for questioning. The death of Ken George Jones caused a great sensation. Every headline... Every... I was not interested in headlines. Uh, Miss Coleridge, perhaps it would be best if you allowed the district attorney to complete his statement. Yes, Your Honor. I'm sorry. Evidence concerning the death of Mr. Jones was presented to a grand jury already in session, and an indictment of murder in the first degree was handed up, naming Miss Coleridge in absentia, since she could not be found. Uh, a warrant was issued and an all-points bulletin. It was 24 hours before she was located and taken into custody. Your Honor, with all respect, the district attorney persists in portraying me as a fugitive, seeking to avoid rest. I don't know how else to characterize the situation, Miss Coleridge. Why is any characterization necessary? I understood this to be a hearing for the sole purpose of setting bail, under conditions that would assure my availability to be at the trial. We're not here today to deal with questions of innocence or guilt. That is correct. Do the people have a recommendation concerning bail? We do. The people are asking, because of the extraordinary circumstances surrounding this case, that Miss Coleridge be held without bail. What? Having run away to avoid prosecution once, there is nothing that will assure us she won't do so again. Your Honor, I was in love with the man that died. And when he died, I felt a great need to be by myself, to mourn his death alone for a little while before I would have to face the publicity and so forth that would result from his death. So I, um, I went up to the mountain area of New England because mountains are something that, that Ken loved and I felt that I would feel closer to him there. I, I was not running away to avoid prosecution. Your Honor, Miss Coleridge was apprehended while traveling under the name of Faith Desmond, an alias. Moreover, she informed the motel keeper, who will be a witness at the forthcoming trial, that she was headed for Canada. Now, I submit that a man of average intelligence might conclude that to be an effort to avoid apprehension. It was not. She was leaving the jurisdiction of New York and the United States. Your Honor, I have been a member of the bar for seven years. I have a home and a family and responsibilities. I am rooted to this community. And I have never been the subject of a complaint before. It is not the people's position that Miss Coleridge is an habitual criminal. This was a crime of passion. Why do you persist in, in making this a question of innocence or guilt? The people assert that the only way to ensure Miss Coleridge's presence at the trial is to hold her without bail. Your Honor, once I was found and I realized my situation, I waived extradition and I came back to New York voluntarily. It seems to me there is justification for bail in this situation. Do the people have a recommendation? Under these circumstances, we would urge no less than $500,000. Your Honor, that is unreasonable. The people must be protected, Your Honor. Uh, isn't it true that uh, Ken George Jones was incurably ill and it was only a matter of a few weeks before his death was expected? Yes, Your Honor. And he had expressed the desire to be put out of his misery. That's true, but the statutes of New York State don't... Thank you. I'm, I'm a familiar with those statutes. I take it, then, that your argument is that this is an extraordinarily unusual situation, and not one to suggest that uh, the community was in danger if you're released. That is correct, Your Honor. Nor would I fail to show up for the trial. Uh, is there any reason to believe the people would not be satisfied with a bail of $100,000? I take it that is a rhetorical question, Your Honor. Miss Coleridge, can you manage $100,000? Yes, I can, and thank you. Uh, bond will be posted before 5 p.m. tomorrow afternoon. We'll recess for five minutes.
next Sunday, relive Erica's greatest do-overs of the season. Can anybody say fierce? <laughs> With SoapNet's Being Erica 4-Hour Catch-Up Marathon. Are you ready, you big rebel? Don't miss a moment of the drama. For the record, you stop calling me. The betrayal. Are you angry or are you jealous? The secrets. Tell me the truth. What did you do today? I can't. And prepare yourself. Dr. Tom, wait! For the shocking season finale. It's time, Erica. The Being Erica 4-Hour Catch-Up Marathon next Sunday from 8 to midnight, only on SoapNet. I'm Tori Spelling, and I want you to spend every weekend with me in bed. With Breakfast in Bed on SoapNet. You know, Donna had the best time in high school. There was the time that she passed out at prom. Were you drunk, Donna? Then there was the time that her boyfriend cheated on her. And there was the time that Donna wasn't allowed to graduate. So I could just die. Wait a minute. These are terrible memories. Breakfast in Bed with the OC, One Tree Hill, Beverly Hills 90210, and Gilmore Girls. From 8 a.m. to 3 every Saturday and Sunday on SoapNet. I can't believe it's not butter has 70% less saturated fat than butter and no hydrogenated oils. So there's no trans fat. I can't believe it's not butter. Butter taste, better health. Here's one way to defy gravity. And here's a better way. A Garnier Innovation, new Ultra Lift Pro Gravity Defying Cream. This goes beyond lifting. This is our first daily moisturizer with powerful skin nutrients that create a lifting network. It tightens the jawline, helps tone cheeks, actually lifts and re-sculpts. A consumer study showed skin looks up to five years younger. Gravity, defy it. New Ultra Lift Pro Gravity Defying Cream. Garnier. Take care. Hi, Anne. How are you doing? Hi, Evelyn. I know it's been a difficult time since your mom passed away. Yeah, I miss her a lot, but I'm okay. Wow, that was fast. This is the check I've been waiting for. Mom had a guaranteed acceptance life insurance policy through the Colonial Pen Program, and this will really help with the cost of her final expenses. Is it affordable? It costs less than 35 cents a day. That's pretty affordable, huh? Are you between the ages of 50 and 85? For less than 35 cents a day, you can get guaranteed acceptance life insurance through the Colonial Pen Program. You cannot be turned down because of your health. There are no health questions or medical exam. Your rate will never go up, and your benefit will never go down due to age. Guaranteed. Call about the Colonial Pen Program now. Call 1-800-378-3404 for your free information and a free gift, or visit cpdirect.com. That's 1-800-378-3404. Call now. Now playing on DirecTV Cinema. Abandoned by your parents, you should have died. But instead, you fall. Your entire life has brought you to this moment. The time has come for you to avenge our honor. Yeah! Come here! Assassin. Movies playing on channels 125 through 199. Seconds to hold you only, minutes to know only, hours to love you and feel love grow. Time is an ocean on a waves we ride, but we'll find each other on the other side. Jillian, I just keep saying. Jillian. That about our Jillian. Jillian. Yeah. I was wondering something, but I think I've heard enough of it. Thank you. Oh, the nerve. D. The nerve. D, I'm sure he meant it as a gesture to Jill, okay? I'm not talking about him, I'm talking about her. How could she let him do that, Frank? Did she know how embarrassing it would be for everybody? Come on, Dee. She's not the only Jillian in the world. Yeah. But she's already embarrassed Frank so much, walking out on him and having a public love affair with Ken George Jones. And on top of that, she lets him write a song about her. Do you, don't you think Jill is in enough trouble without you inventing new grievances? I'm not inventing anything. It was right there on the radio. Sometimes, Faith, you're a little insensitive. I'm insensitive. Dee, look, I appreciate you coming to my You should defense, do but something. There's no need. Sue, and you what? should be quiet. I will not. Dee.
people in this family stick up for each other, or at least they used to. They still do, Dee. Well, I don't see where. I don't see anybody calling that station and protesting. Come on, Dee, what's the I'm point of protest? There's no need to... Get off the phone. The station was that week. Oh, Dee, what are you... Look, uh, do you want to go out for a walk around the river or something? Yeah, right now that sounds wonderful. Gets dark early. Might rain too. I mean, you might get caught in a cold, wet rainstorm. You know, Delia, rainstorms this time of year are cold, and they are wet. You know what I meant. Are you ready? Yeah, come on, let's go. Bye, John. So long. John, I'll be back in a little while, okay? I'll see you, Doc. Goodbye, son. Have fun. Uh, I'll tell you, Mom, you were here. I'll see you, Dean. Bye. 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 You know, you were right about that song being a little upsetting. Now you agree with me. Well, I didn't want to say anything before. It, it would have just added fuel to the fire. What song? Oh, nothing. Just a song, sweetheart. You know, this really is a wonderful mask. Yeah. <laughs> How would you like Daddy to come trick-or-treating with us this year? Would you like that? Yeah. So would I. Maybe uh, when he gets back to the office, we'll have you call him. Little John, if you call him, he'll jump at the chance to go with us. Okay. Won't he? That'll be swell. Uh, go on trick or treating with, treat with your mom and pop. <laughs> yeah, it will mom be. Mom and dad, not mom and pop. Well, have it my way. That will be nice, won't it? Next, take a trip to the Upper West Side on Ryan's Hope. Later, spend some time in Genoa City with the Young and the Restless, only on SoapNet. This Wednesday, I got fired again. It's the last episode before the emotional season finale. What would make things better? A lottery ticket? And Erica's wildest dreams <laughs> have come true. I could get used to this. But does getting what you want... Ever since you cashed in, you don't even try anymore. ...come at a price? What the hell's going on? You're gonna send me back to the real 2009. Well, who said that this isn't real? Being Erica. All new this Wednesday at 10, only on SoapNet. Rediscover all my children on SoapNet. Erica Kane, she's feisty. Get away from me! You may not do this! I am Erica Kane, and you are a filthy beast! If you thought Erica was feisty then... Wait till you see me in 2010. This was my base of operations while I single-handedly kept Fusion afloat. But I do know there's a broom closet down the hall that would fit your contributions to a T. All My Children, weekdays on ABC, weeknights at 8 on SoapNet. I'll always be your soft place to fall. The Young and the Restless, tonight at 7 on SoapNet. This week on Days of Our Lives, she's been released from prison and reformed her life. Everything's changed, Brady, everything. But when she pursues an old fling... Give me another chance. She'll tear a couple apart. I don't want to marry you. Watch Days of Our Lives, weeknights at 6 and 11 on SoapNet. Will everyone with constipation please report to Gate 17? Thank you so much. Constipation's uncomfortable enough, so why take a harsh laxative? Philips Caplets work naturally with your colon for overnight relief without cramps. Philips Caplets. Oh boy, smelly shoes. No smell? Odor eaters. No, 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 no. Odor eaters destroys odor on contact. Cushions feet too. Odor eaters insoles, powder, and spray. Whew, what a nightmare. Rich, creamy, dark chocolate with hazelnuts. Isn't this how calcium should taste? Eating well has never been so craveable. With Quaker Dark Chocolate Mocha Hazelnut Cafe Squares. The flavor of soft, sweet caramel. Isn't this how whole grains should taste? Eating well has never been so craveable. With Quaker Caramel Baked Rice Snacks. I 
heard on the radio they were bringing you back. Released on bail. How are you? Oh, coming along, coming along. Are you okay? Yeah, more or less. I can't say that I'm happy to be here. No. I miss him. Yeah, me too. I think I always will. Both of us. Listen, Jill, what was, what was all that about your using a phony name? Impulse. Checked into this motel and uh, the radio was playing Jillian's song. Just didn't want the room clerk to make the connection, so I, I used Faith's name. Oh. I was thinking about you. I wondered why you didn't get in touch. I did call you, but there was no answer. Ah, oh, damn. There was one time, one time I couldn't get to the phone. And then I was arrested and I didn't have a chance to call again. But I didn't want to make a statement until I spoke to you. Why not? Because I need to know what really happened. <sighs> I'm not sure I know what you mean. To Ken. Oh, wait a minute, Jillian. You're the one that has the answer to that. No, no, no. I, I don't have any answers. I don't even know that I want the answers. Well, according to the news reports, Maven, Roger went into Ken's hospital room and found you sitting on the bed beside him with a syringe in your hand. Yes, yes. And, and you told him it was all over and tried to stop Roger from reviving Ken. Because he was at peace and I didn't well, want him to... You don't have to explain to me. I wasn't trying to explain. Of all the people in the world, I'm the most grateful to you for having had the courage to do what you did. Barry. But while I know you have to establish a reasonable doubt that you did it, Jillian, I am not the reasonable doubt. I, I came to your room right before I went to Ken's that last time, and you were not here. Where were you? When? I was, I was right here. No, you were not. Ah, uh, well... Uh, Maybe I was in the bathroom. The wheelchair was gone. Well, it's not always here. Sometimes I use the crutches. I saw Ken once that morning, and then I was here the rest of the day. I was... I was up to my neck in phone calls, trying to get Jillian on the air the way he wanted. All right. Out of my affection for you, Barry, and the way we both felt about Ken, I'm not going to pursue this. For God's sake, Jillian, there is nothing to pursue! Okay. I'm glad that you're feeling better. I, I, I need to go. There are things that I have to do. You take care. Yeah. You too. Next Sunday, get caught up with everything you need to know about SoapNet's original series, Being Erica, before the shocking season finale, the four-hour Being Erica catch-up marathon, Sunday, April 4th, starting at 8 p.m. on SoapNet.